vibration, yeah That's the positive vibes and we creating, yeah Right now I wanted to come to you guys with a product review from this company called Busties. Um, they have an Amazon store. They reached out to me to try their um, nipple covers. And as you know guys, um, I don't like to wear bras. So this is one of the most useful uh, product reviews um, that I have received, product that I have received thus far to review. Because, yeah. If these work, I'm going to be utilizing these things all the time. They're reusable, guys. You're supposed to be able to just wash them. Uh, here, the plastic covering back on and um, let it dry and wear them again. So we shall see. Because right now, I have on this little thin outfit from Fashion Over. And uh, the girls are poking. 
and we don't want that. We we definitely don't want the girls to be poking out, not in public. You do that kind of stuff, you leave for your man, for your man. Or if you're some kind of exotic, like, Instagram model that what you do is, you know, you sell sex appeal, then, then yeah, that's fine. But for us regular, regular ladies, we don't want that. We, we, we leave that for at home. So let's try it. Okay, so um, I've taken out the package. It comes in this plastic container. And you just open it up like this. And like I say, I don't know if I said it, but like I said, it has, um, it comes with four, four nip covers, meaning two pairs. So it comes with two pairs of nip covers. And um, only thing I wish is maybe that they were more, had different, uh, Flesh tones to match your flesh because these are pretty much kind of like a pale pink color. So, yeah. But they shall serve the purpose of concealing the nipple. Doesn't matter what the color is for that. So, one moment. I'm going to remove the plastic backing off and apply it. And voila. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. Hmm. Okay, Miss Busty, I see you, girl. Y'all, like I said, for real, for real. I'm, I, I'm going to be using the crap out of these things. So, um, we, we see the product. The proof is in the pudding. It's hard to see in this viewfinder because I'm looking in this viewfinder. But I, I'm, I really think that it's doing the job. Because the girl's not poking like they was. It was obvious when I was uh, re recording without them that the girls was out and about. The headlights was on. And I think it does a pretty good job with concealing. And plus, this shirt, like I said, this shirt is super thin. You might can almost see the indentations on my nail. This shirt is super thin. So to me, <clears throat> with that being said, it's just like I'm, I'm, I'm testing these hard. I'm just, I'm, I'm throwing them in like 12 feet of water. They can't swim. That's this the kind of review I'm giving you right now on these busters. And um, so I'm, I'm with it. I'm, I'm so, so far. I am going to try them again, though, um, this weekend. First, I'm going to clean them. Um, I'm going to clean them. I'm going to let them dry, and I'm going to put them back on for you guys this weekend. So we're going to see how well they stick since they say you'll be able to reuse them pretty much an infinite number of times as long as you keep them clean. So um, we're going to put them back the plastic back and back on this is how you keep them and put them back in the container until um i get ready to wash them and then i'll show you guys how i um wash them too so so i just took it off and they don't hurt coming off either they don't hurt at all like i use some pay, uh, nipple covers before and they work well don't get me wrong they do but they hurt like hell coming off these do not hurt at all at all so um Hopefully they, they they will stick all day, but I'm gonna put that to the test. I'm gonna put that to the test this weekend. I'm in Florida, it's hot, and I'm gonna be out for a little while running some errands. I'm gonna put them on and we're gonna test to see how well they stick um when you're sweating and um after they've been used, after the second use, after they've been washed. So what I'm gonna do is just oh I hope you can see this. Hold on. Let me sit, let me sit it up. Can you see that? I think, okay, there go my plastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take her, I flip their inside out, and then I'm gonna just stick it right 
in the center of the plastic as so. And then I flip over and voila. There it goes. That's how you store and you just put them back in the pack. Close the pack. And there you go. All right, guys, so I just wanted to come to you quickly before I began my day to show you um, Busties. And not just to show you because this is my first time using them. So it's a product I opened up on um, this on camera. I applied them on camera. So this is a real raw review. So I just wanted to show you guys this and also to see how well it works for myself. So I'll holler at y'all later. Ashley, guys, I'm about to wear these suckers all day long. I am. So they're going to get a wear test today too. All right. Holla. As I wanted to come back and show you what I was having for lunch today. This is the hot girl summer salad. It has red onions, um, red peppers, green peppers, shrimp, cucumbers, um, egg, feta cheese. Okay guys. So now we're about to wash these busties nipple, um, covers i've already filled up a glass bowl with some lukewarm water and i add some um i use this dove body wash um you just want you don't have to use a dove body wash you can just use like any mild soap nothing too harsh so we're gonna go ahead and put them in there i'm just gonna kind of rub them get it getting um any excess dirt or build up from off of your skin off of them and for right now i'm just going to sit this to the side because i want to rinse this in um clean water and i'm going to do the next one okay. and then i'm just going to take them over to the sink and just rinse them off So this is what we have. So now let's set it to the side. I'm set that and show you. So now I think I'm gonna flip them like this, just so like the water can kind of fall down. But don't flip them on the side that's sticky, and just let them air dry. Don't blow dry them. Don't do none of that. Just let them air dry. So not sure how long they're gonna take to dry, but we're gonna let them sit, and then I'll come back. And let you know um, when they're dry and apply them and see if they apply them again and see if they still stick. All right, guys. these from Fashion Nova some months back. I actually um, 
tried them all tried them on in a haul um a couple of months back that i posted but um they're kind of like i don't know it's like extra material on the side it's like giving like a cargo look but it's not really cargo pants and it's like a windbreaker material and then i have on this bodysuit from um my outfit online so this is white this is double line this this bodysuit is very great quality but my um headlights poking through just a little bit so this is a great opportunity to um put back on my busties I've already washed them as you see and um, dried them. But let me um, also tell y'all one thing about Busties. Busties, which really kind of touched me and I was like really happy to do a review and to try the product, is that a portion of their, um, the, the purchase, the, the a portion of the money earned from the, oh gosh, a portion of the money earned from the purchase goes to the breast, um, breast breast cancer of america association so um breast cancer runs in my family on my father's side and um i actually had like a little scare one time which i will touch on um a little bit once i get finished getting dressed or whatever because i'm kind of in a rush i need to hurry up but i'll tell y'all about that um in a moment i actually had recorded a video on it but i just never posted it I never uploaded it so but I'll fill you guys in on that but yeah guys a portion of the um the earnings from the purchase of these goes to the breast cancer association so I thought that was real dope and um so let me go ahead and put these on and we're gonna see the difference now this is a shirt that's better quality than the shirt i had on yesterday so the girls aren't poking out that much but they are just a little bit but just to make sure i'm extra secure let me go ahead and put on these It's so easy to put on too and like i say other ones that i tried taking them off kind of hurts kind of irritates my um my areola but not areola my nipples but these don't hurt at all they don't hurt at all so they're on all right so now i need to figure out what kind of lip i'm gonna put on oh i forgot to tell you my accessories i got on a watch from um jbw i can never remember i think this is the crystal or the mandarin one of them um this little silver uh ring that i got from aliexpress and i also got this love silver love necklace from aliexpress this is like inspired by i think a necklace that zara had sold at one point i don't know who else sold it i don't know if a designer has uh, sold it and Zara duped it but I did see the gold one um like this and I can't remember if it said love or amore or something like that but it was a similar uh style necklace but I got this one off of AliExpress so I need to figure out what lip I'm gonna put on and what shoes I think I might put on sneakers I don't know so it's gonna either be sneakers or probably some um clear clear uh mules or something like that i don't know but we shall see Some pictures, some videos, um, 
content and um, it's hot yeah it's, it's real hot out here I'm where I'm going I'm going to Ashley St. Johnstown so I'm in Jacksonville but there's a lot of um, little spots that I could get some good content but honey I ain't gonna play out there in the sun oh. sheesh no I'm recording on my phone and obviously I don't have my mount up here right so bear with me give me a second I'm gonna stop I gotta pick up my um cousin and my goddaughter so as soon as I stop I'm gonna fix this that's so ghetto of me. I blew the horn, but I'm talking to y'all now for like um, Jason. I don't even. How do I fix this shit? Okay. Now this my um boyfriend calling, so I gotta call y'all back because he come first. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I have to keep my um short with doing hair. I prefer them longer. But we're doing hair, it's just really, it, when I, especially braiding, it starts scratching on my knuckles and stuff like that. I don't see how girls with long nails, um, do hair. I can't do it. Put the, the little the, piece. Yeah. Okay, she put the clear stuff. Uh -huh. so I, I don't know what it is, but it's like the clear stuff, and then she uh, um, put like a let it dry and then put another layer. So oh, she like put multiple okay. layers to make it look like that. Y'all, here got my nails. I don't think I showed y'all. And sorry if the quality kind of bad between the sun and I'm also recording on my phone, so it's not really adjusting. But yeah, we're talking about uh, my nails and I keep them short because um, I don't know if I mentioned before, some of you just started following me, but I am a hairstylist. That's one of my jobs. I have multiple jobs, but I am a hair, uh, <laughs> I am a hairstylist. So it's easier for me to have my nails shorter when I'm doing hair. I prefer longer nails. Um, but yeah, when I do let them grow out, it's like I'm trying myself. I'm gonna turn it up because I ain't wanted to be loud. Oh, your feet? Oh, okay. she trying to get down. But it's 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 hot, right, y'all? It's real hot, and I'm I'm talking to y'all. I'm sacrificing my um comfort for y'all. So I'm hoping y'all appreciate this. Cause I need to turn my AC on max, but if I do, y'all not gonna be able to hear me. So right quick, right quick. So back to the story I was telling y'all about the breast cancer scale or whatnot. So um, I did uh, my annual appointment, my annual um, well woman appointment. My doctor, because she knows that I have family history of breast cancer on my father's side, she recommended that I do the genetic testing for cancer. So I did it um, and it came back that I was high risk for breast cancer and um, whatever the percentage was I was over that percent so she suggested that I go have a mammogram I believe I'm actually and I can't don't don't quote me but I may be too young to have insurance pay for mammogram based on it not being medically necessary I don't think it's um, I'm in the age bracket where the insurance um, pays for it as like a a routine, yeah, a routine uh, service. So Wait, I've had one. History? Well, with, that's the thing with family history; it's not really considered routine. It's it's more necessary. So I've had one before. So she suggested that I go ahead and um, get another one, and she set me up to go to this um, breast imaging um, center. And I went in. I did the test, um, and not the test. They did the scan and everything. And then they called me back. So when they called me back, they was like, we want you to come in for a diagnostic testing. We saw something like one of your breast tissue on one of your breasts. I can't remember which one. One of your breasts was a little different than the other one. So that had me nervous. So they said the appointment, I think I came in um, like two weeks after I got the phone call. So of course I was kind of nervous because um, I had not just but probably what two three years ago well it's been longer than that but at the time it was like two three years prior that I had just lost my boyfriend from cancer um or whatnot so you know baby I was nervous I to, to watch somebody go through that to watch somebody suffer and decline as healthy and strong it's just something that you don't want to have to experience again and definitely don't want to have to experience for yourself so I um they they did the diagnostic testing and everything was fine guys so i just wanted to throw that in in there um to you because like i say busties i really appreciate the fact that 
they um, contribute to the American Breast Cancer Association. So we're off to town center. I need to go pick up a belt from my boyfriend and then I'm probably gonna just pop in and out of a couple of stores. I need like a white button up shirt. I wanna look for some white wide leg pants, black wide leg pants and check out and see what kind of uh, sell Steve Matt and may have on some shoes and then we're gonna eat after that. It's going always to about the food. It's always about the food and the, vi and the vibrations. Yes. Okay. So, I'll holler at y'all later because we got to cut it on. I'm starting to sweat. She's sweating. My, oh, my God. Oh, I didn't try Jack butt. Really? Man. Yeah, let me pay attention. I'll, I'll call y'all back later. Bye. Pick up what you want. Her man's own. Pick up what you want. You should nail home. Pick up what you want. How's it going? I'm a puppet. What the fuck is you talking about? I need to double check. Okay. Oh, we just walking in the middle of the street like we own it. Yeah, I tried. We tried to go to um. Treated us. No, girl, they treated us like we didn't even exist. Like I don't like that. So we left. Yeah, I was telling them like. Uh, we been ready to walk past Town Bahama, but I was telling them that me and um, my boyfriend we went one day, and it's like no, they just staring at us like, are y'all gonna wait on us? Are y'all gonna sit us? So we love, but I have a cousin, she loves this place, so I'm I've never really actually sat and ate in here. Looks kind of interesting. It looks like a vibe, but y'all the way they treated me, it's a no for me. Yeah, I'm not with that. Where I'm spending my money, y'all ain't giving me nothing for free. Thank you. Pick out what you want. Her man's own. Pick out what you want.